Maybe you are supposed to eat like this. Maybe my teeth are just weak. Stop, wait, 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 wait. I literally bit the wrapper. You can't cook that, dude. <laughs> no way. This is Rush from Cloud9. And we're here with what the fork and Grub got us some food. So let's see what we got. I'm pretty hungry, so got some chips. Looks like it's Mexican. Some beans. There's a lot of beans. Ooh, my favorite. Tacos. Oh yeah. I'm really happy that tacos won the poll. Oh my god, there's so many tacos. Oh. They keep coming. That's a lot of food. We also got some, looks like some lemonade of some sort, so it looks good. I'm really hungry. So we had a poll for which food you guys chose for me, and it was between tacos, sushi, and Italian, I believe. And I'm a, I'm a fan of all three, honestly, but I'm pretty glad tacos won, because Mexican is probably one of my favorites. So probably gonna start with the chips, actually, because that's usually a good starter for Mexican. You know, you go to a restaurant, you get a fresh bag of chips. And I thought this was beans, but it's actually salsa. It's a big thing of salsa, so yeah. So I'll try to chip out. Mmm, good. So it looks like we have three different, three different types of tacos, and looks like we have steak, pork, and chicken maybe? I'm not sure. First one looks like it's chicken with some sort of chipotle sauce on it. So the next one, it looks like it's, let's see, like a steak, like carne asada with some peppers and looks like some guac or avocado on it. Actually, these are, I think these are two different types because this one has like peppers and this one has avocado and cheese on it. So it looks like, yeah, I'm not sure, like carne asada. And the last looks like very similar to the other two, the, these carne asada ones, so I'm not exactly sure what it is. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like it's more uh, carne asada by the looks of it, but I'm happy because uh, carne asada is actually my favorite, so. So we have a variety. We have mainly a lot of steak, but we also have like a turkey and a chicken one. This is the turkey, looks like chicken. These are steak with jalapenos, I think, or peppers maybe, and then avocado. So the first one I want to start with is probably this one, the like carne asada with avocado on it. Let's see. Actually, there's no meat in this one. That's terrible. No, I'm kidding. I'm a big fan of meat, so. It seems like there's just only avocado on it. Yep, just avocado. So even though this one just says avocado, it's still pretty good because I like avocado a lot, but normally I talk about meat in it, so it's good to change it up, I guess. And the next one, mm, lemonade's really good. A lot of sugar, but it's really good. I think it's like, maybe like a watermelon, I would assume. Um, it's, like a, it's just like a, Unique, maybe like watermelon peach or something, something mixed. It's definitely not just one thing, but it's really good. Okay, next we're gonna try the carne asada with the peppers or whatever, the cream cheese or something on it. Mm. Good. Just meat, important. Yep, so I'm a big fan of the carne asada. Uh, a lot of flavor to it, because it's obviously steak and there's peppers in it and cheese, so it's your typical taco and I'm, I like it. So the next one would be, looks like the chipotle or sauce with the taco, or the chicken taco. And then let's see what it tastes like, a lot of, a lot of sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like it because uh, the sauce is really good. It's like, it says like some spicy chipotle sauce really makes it better so far. The best is probably the steak one, but this is still really good. And looks like we have, I think this is the turkey one. I'm not sure, but I'll try it out. It's not bad. It's like um, a unique flavor because usually tacos don't have turkey in it. So I'm not used to that, but it's still good. Something cool about this series, uh, with the fork, is that they also <clears throat> have some questions that you guys asked me on Twitter. First question is, so well, what food would you bathe in? Probably, I think this one, probably protein powder. You know, like half parts milk, half part protein. If you were standing on an island with one type of food, what would it be? Probably steak. Do you despise any food or condiments? I actually like pretty much all food, but if I had to say one that I don't like, it's probably like relish or sweet pickles. I don't like sweet pickles at all. 
I like dill pickles, so it's kind of weird. Can I take you out to dinner? Sure, but you have to pay. Why is vanilla ice cream white if vanilla extract is brown? Damn. I don't know, that's a good shower thought, but I have no idea. Do you have a sweet tooth or are you more of a savory kind of guy? I mean, I like sweet things, but probably more of a savory type of guy. Like I like steaks and like, you know, meats and stuff like that. But I do like sweet things too. Like we just went to Turkey and we had baklava, like really like authentic baklava and it's really good, but it's so sweet that you almost can't have more than one for a long time because it's so sweet and so much flavor. With Halloween coming up, what was the best trick or treat trick-or-treating loot you've ever gotten. I'm not happy to admit this, but when I was young, I had a moment, I was probably like seven or eight, and you know those take one, like bowls? It was a Reese's Cup, I think, or Twix, one of the two, my favorites, and I took the whole bowl and dumped it in my bag with my brother, and I, I think after that year, I realized that that's pretty bad, but I was happy in the moment that I did it. So obviously we got the main the tacos, the main course, the chips to the side course, and then this, I don't know what this is, and it looks like a mystery item to me, but I guess we'll have to try it. It looks very interesting. And I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like this, but I guess I'm going to have to. We're going to try it with some salsa. I don't think it's supposed to eat like that. I don't think so. I think it's supposed to unwrap it, maybe. I couldn't get through it. Let me unwrap it. It's like rice inside, it looks like. Maybe you are supposed to eat like this. Maybe my teeth are just weak. It fell apart. It's over. Stop, wait, 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 wait. I literally bit the wrapper. You can't include that, dude. <laughs> no way. I'm trying it. It tastes pretty good. Um, this one? Yeah, go for it. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm gonna eat this one. I'm gonna save this for later. <laughs> All right, so obviously I did that wrong. And this is, you're not supposed to eat this, clearly. But inside is like a tamale right here, part of it. And it's pretty good actually. Not that I can actually, you know, eat it normally. It's good. Don't judge me. So grub up is pretty great because when you're at like home, like I'm now, and we're practicing a lot, it's usually like an all day thing. And there's maybe like very small breaks and it's not like I can go out and get something. So it's good to order food um, from grub Hub. And also when I'm at a tournament, if you're boot camping, those are even longer days and we can't have, we don't have time or even we don't have a car to go anywhere to get something. So ordering from Grubhub is amazing. So thanks to Grubhub for setting this up. It was really good and tasty and I really like tacos, so it was great. Um, if you wanna try it yourself, it's actually a link down below. You click it and on your first order of $15 or more, you get $10 off. So try it, it's great.